Welcome back to my more important analysis videos on Thursday, 2nd of August with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtip Markets, looking at Euro dollar. Um, Euro dollar didn't really um, move on the Fed last night. In fact, Euro actually sort of ticked about five pips higher. Um, but the downside move has come this morning as the dollar has strengthened on the back of this trade dispute fears that have sort of been escalating in the Asian session, sort of flooded into the European session now. Um, and we've seen that uh, we've now sort of put together a couple of bear candles and again we're still um, decisively lower today, sort of 35, 40 pips down. That one at 16.20 level, which was last week's low, that has been breached intraday, although obviously not yet closed decisively below. But uh, a close below to 16.20, mm, you really are looking at sort of possibility now of breaking to the downside of this um, of this uh, down uh, of this sort of symmetrical triangle pattern, I suppose you could call it. 44 on the RSI. Now we've closed at 45 on previous occasions through this um, through the last month or so. So that would be a bit of a shift. You've got the stochastics ticking slightly lower. RSI, uh, sorry, uh, MACD lines just sort of threatening to roll over. So if you do see the, the RSI closing below 45, and I suppose below 40, that would, I think, probably be a bit of a signal that we're sort of pulling lower again. So you've got that key support of the reaction low at um, 1570 within this uh, within this range. And the 15 big figure level of the trading range in the last sort of couple of months, three months, is the key level to watch. But for now, we are just edging lower. Is it going to sort of be a downside break? Well, as I said, you've got the hourly chart that's just now sort of taking on more of a corrective configuration. And uh, a close below 1620, which is the initial, has, or has been the initial support, would start to sort of really put pressure on and start to get a bit of traction perhaps. So watch out for that. You've got 1650, which is a, an old pivot which the market has paid a fair amount of regard to actually in the last couple of weeks. And that is now a basis of, um, of resistance. You broke below 1650, that then became basis of resistance overnight. So that is your n initial resistance. And then you're looking at 17 figure, uh, which is another sort of slight element of a pivot there. So uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in trading. I'll speak to you later.